Hey everyone, I just wanted to share my thoughts on the new character, Jackson, and what I like about him and what I don't like about him. First of all, we finally got an ascendable tune. A legacy tune is now a six star. It wasn't the one that we were anticipating, seeing as we only got a view of Jackson about a week ago, but have been waiting on Lee, Magna, Herschel, and Maggie for about two months now. So firstly, as a five-star, Jackson was a medic. He applied some healing to his teammates and was able to recover from defensive and offensive penalties. His leadership skill of plus 30 attack and plus 30 HP was okay, but nothing amazing. He was a highly available character because he was in the league season store a couple seasons ago. And you can obtain this Jackson by ascending random green four-star tunes. When Jackson becomes a six-star, he gains a new leadership skill, giving all melee teammates plus 40% attack, but only a very large bonus to AP when attacking, which is different from almost every other leader tune that has a plus 40 attack bonus, since most of them have a huge bonus to AP when attacking, excluding Jackson. With a very large bonus to AP when attacking, that gives an additional plus 8 AP to the attacking tune if they're a melee tune. This would mean that any 76 AP melee tune with a huge bonus to AP when attacking on their weapon can rush naturally on turn 3. When we look at Jackson's rush, we see a 300% damage rush to a line of enemies, all teammates regaining 40% of their max HP and recovering from all attack penalties. For being an attack lead tune, he has very defensive stats with over 2000 HP and over 1800 defense. It doesn't really make sense considering he should be an offensive leader. His rush overall is very underwhelming to me. The 300% damage with only 1500 attack seems very weak, especially with it only being to a line of enemies. If it was to one enemy and all enemies adjacent, there could be some use to that, especially for breaking guardian shields, and with the attack being so weak, if a tune did not have a guardian shield, they would not gain much AP. This healing rush doesn't seem as practical to me, especially because the AI still dogpiles one specific tune. That specific tune changes every match, but there are very few ways in order to get the defensive team to spread out their attacks to your offensive team, unless they are rushing. Finally, the last part of Jackson's rush also underwhelms me. Instead of recovering from attack and defensive penalties, he only recovers from attack penalties now. So this would be effective against Red Beta, Blue Joshua, and maybe Roxy. Only if Scopely considers Roxy's active skill as an attack penalty. Overall, even if he did recover from both attack and defense penalties, he's still an underwhelming tune. It would have been more effective if his rush did a defense down or 100% heal reduction to the enemies. When looking at his active skill, I actually don't mind it. Recovering from both stun and impair can be very effective because he's an offensive tune. If he was a defensive tune and you were running him on defense, I could see that it would be less useful because he would use his active skill as soon as one tune becomes stunned or impaired. Going back to Jackson's leadership skill, I think it's a very large bonus to AP when attacking so that people can't run Sean on offense without running at least two 8% AP weapons. If Jackson had a huge bonus to AP when attacking, Sean would get plus 40 AP each turn if he had a huge bonus to AP on his weapon. So 40 and 40 is 80. And then 8%, so if you had one 8% weapon, that would be an additional 7 AP, meaning Sean would have 87 AP and would be able to be commanded on turn 2. But because he has a very large bonus to AP, even if Sean has a huge bonus to AP when attacking on his weapon, he will only have 76 AP, plus 7 is 83. Therefore, he needs two 8% AP weapons supporting him. So when we think about it like that, we have a green lead, Sean is a green tune, 
you might run a human shield on offense in order to protect your other tunes. So if you have Andrea, who's yellow, or Jesus, you would still need to craft them an 8% AP weapon. If you run a disarm tune, the only yellow disarm tune available right now is Harper, who has a bound weapon, meaning you would have to craft 8% AP on her as well. Or you would have to run a command tune, who has an 8% AP weapon. Basically, Scopely puts you into a bind and prevents free-to-play players from being able to rush Sean on turn two with a command tune easily. It's easy enough for people to work in one 8% AP weapon into their attack team when they have a green lead like Jackson, but running two on their attack team with Jackson and Sean taking up one spot each is a lot more difficult. So I'm currently subbing in Knox for Jackson because I don't have him, so he's just a placeholder. But if he had a huge bonus to AP when attacking, this team would let me rush Sean on turn two because Nick can command him and Nick has one 8% AP weapon. But because Jackson is very large, all of a sudden I have to take one tune out and I can't give up my commander, I can't give up Sean or Jackson, and I don't really want to give up my disarm tune. So I'm stuck losing my human shield and subbing in revive Ty instead. Players with Camilla still have the advantage because she can hold an 8% AP weapon on attack. And finally, Jackson doesn't have a bound weapon, so you can give him a stun on attack weapon or some other weapon of your choosing. Thank you again for watching and listening to my video.